All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue our discussion of reaction mechanisms. Here we are. This is another look ahead at mechanisms you will see. This is a chapter seven mechanism right here for the first step, and then a chapter seven, uh, two seven mechanisms in a row. This is all chapter seven. And you don't have to know anything except what these arrows mean. And then we have words to describe the participants. Let's start with Lewis because we're supposed to know about Mr. Lewis. What is the, uh, you programmed your brain as soon as you hear Lewis to hear what two words in your brain? Uh, still doesn't help me. We got to replace the name because it's meaningless with something that describes what we're actually talking about every time we use the guy's name. Mm. No. Wow, you guys didn't learn Lewis structures all about valence electrons? That's all they're about. Okay, this is good we did this because I thought we did this already. Every time you hear Lewis from now on, just translate it to valence electrons in your brain. That's what the discussion is about. Okay. So Lewis acid, yeah, better have electrons in the definition. And if you, you know, you get a little hip sometimes and you do things like this. You gotta be hip. You know, like saying the word electron without the E. Electron accept it. I hope you see I'm trying to help you here. What are the two letters in front? LA. Lewis acid. There's the definition of Lewis acid right underneath it. I know, where's the E in electron, right? You gotta find your own memory tricks. And that is a wild arrow, isn't it? Okay. Well, I think you know the definition of Lewis base. Better have electron in it. You don't have to skip the E this time because the letters don't help. Electron, you can't use the same different definition for a Lewis acid and Lewis base. What's the definition of Lewis base? Electron donor. There's your symbol for electron you're allowed to use. I don't even need an explanation for that symbol. That's a universal chemistry short form. E with a minus charge is electron. Okay. Don't use it for Lewis acid though, because you need that L in your brain. Uh, nucleophile, very nice word, by the way. It says what's going on. Why is it reacting? Because there's a nucleus around this thing loves. What's the only thing to love about a nucleus? The protons are the only thing to love about a nucleus. So if you are a nucleus lover, what charge nature do you have? You better have some kind of negative going on, whether it's a full blown anion or a slightly negative charge. You will be attracted to a plus. You will be called a nucleophile. So translation, you know, nucleophile is its own definition. You know file at the end of any word is love, right? Please know that as a scientist because it's in every science, <laughs> okay? All right, so nucleophile loves nucleus, must, uh, has a negative nature, negative or delta negative nature. Okay, if you're loving electrons, what kind of nature do you have? You're loving electrons. You better have a, has a plus cation or slightly cationic nature. Okay. Bronsted acid. Now, as soon as you, you mentioned the word Bronsted, guys, program your brain now. Bronsted, you don't think about electrons at all. It's protons. You see a guy named Bronsted, you think 
H plus. What's the other name for H plus? Proton. Ron said acid. Does it give up a proton or does it take in a proton? Yeah, it gives up, donates. Unfortunately, it's the same word as we've used earlier. And that's where a lot of the confusion is. Protons, not proton, proton. We only do one at a time, right? And uh, what's the opposite of donating? Accepting. Accept proton. Okay. Uh, I've never written this as a sentence before, but I think it's going to be fun. Lube, new, uh, Bibi. Lube, new, Habibi. Doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> Lube, new, Habibi. L. Hello. I know it's crazy. Wait, what the heck is he doing now? Is synonymous with new. What's it say? Uh, LB is synonymous with new. Blue space is always a nucleophile. Uh, LA is synonymous. Let's break this down too. With E, what's E stand for? Electrophile, capital E. Those two always go together. So if you give me an LA, you better also give me an E or you're throwing a half point away. Every time you use LA, you use E. And the reason why I have loop new Habibi is uh, it's got everything. It's got the, the blue space, the nuclear file, uh, the BB, brown fed base. Doesn't have the electric file. Sometimes you'll see all three of those together, loop new Habibi. You will. You want to see it? Here it is. I just love loop new Habibi. It's my favorite. It sounds so nice. Right? You want to be friends. And if you have a Lubnu Habibi, then you have an Ilaba. Ilaba. I know exactly. A Lubnu Habibi has to react with an Ilaba. <laughs> no, I'm not. Let's talk about it. Why is it a, a, a Lewis base? Well, the arrow is attacking a proton, which means this molecule is going to pick up this proton, right? It's going to accept it. It's making a bond to it right now. That means I am in the process of accepting a proton. That's called a Lewis base. What's synonymous with Lewis base every time? It's circled. What's synonymous with Lewis base every time? Nucleophile. That's why I wrote new. Lewis base. So what? Talk to me about protons. Talk to me about protons. I need the definition of Lewis base. Proton acceptor. What charge does a proton have? Positive. What kind of nature do you have to have to react with a positive? You have to have a negative nature. So I'm just reviewing everything that's on the screen. Uh, a nucleophile has a negative nature. Yeah. Okay. And because it's attacking a proton, the, the proton's moving from this location to the, this location, right? You see it? There it is. That's a Bronsted reaction. Not all Lubnus are Habibi. Not all Lubnus are your friend. You want an example of a Lubnu that's not a Habibi? No BB? I got one right here. Here's a lube new. Lube new. E la. 
The lube always goes with the new. The E always goes with the last. It's an electrophile. Why is it an electrophile? Because it loves electrons. It loves accepting electrons. Electron acceptor, right there. These are synonymous. I mean, their definitions are synonymous. The nucleophile Lewis bases doesn't look synonymous. You love a nucleophile. What, why, what about that makes you a Lewis base? Well, you love a nucleus because you've got extra electrons around. That's the only thing that attracts you to a nucleus, right? So you're going to attack a nucleus. Lewis base. Okay. They go together. So sometimes you don't have the BB. Why, why is it not a BB and a, a BA? There's no BB here and there's no BA here. Why not? There's no proton moving. It's a mercury, not a proton. So you're either having two labels for each or three. That, 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 that's everything on this page. We're going to fill in a lot of them now. This thing's attacking a carbon. So you're not doing any bronze bit in this first one, are you? Which one's the nucleophile? Which one's the electrophile? Is this the nucleophile or the electrophile? Nucleophile. What's synonymous with nucleophile? I like putting lube first because it's lube new. It sounds like a name. And what did lube new is attack? This thing loves those electrons because it's an electron acceptor. I love, I, hey, read it that way. Loves those electrons because it's an electron acceptor. Love electrons, electron acceptor. This is not terrible, is it? She still doesn't like it. I can tell. She's going to warm up to it, though. Because you do get points for this one. And they're not hard. All right. Maybe an hour. This is the attacker. Hey, where an arrow starts always says loop new, right? Every time. <laughs> I don't think there's an exception. Hey, where an arrow starts, you put loop new. And, and then you then you address the bronze bed question. Lube nu. The question is, is it attacking a proton? Answer, no. Please don't put bronze bed. You're not attacking a proton. Ela. And you're not having a proton attacked. No ba. No ila ba. Just ila. So uh, which one of these is the nucleophile? That's, I think Lubnu is the easiest one to start with always, isn't it? So which one's the attacker? Right or left? Right. That's the Lubnu. Is it attacking a proton? Yes, that's a hydrogen up there being attacked. What do you call a Lubnu that has a proton uh, that's going to attack a proton? BB, Lubnu Habibi. The thing you were laughing at is actually useful. <laughs> Lubnu Habibi, it's got them all. Well, it's got this whole triad. Ilaba is the, the complement to the Lubnu Habibi. They sound like a nice couple, don't they? Ilaba and Lubnu Habibi. Yeah, I don't think we're quite done. Now, the next one, it's not tricky. But this is a reactant with the right side of the molecule, and this is a reactant with the left. So there's actually two things going on here. Start with the attacker. I always start with the attacker. It's attacking. What are you going to call it? No matter what. Lubnu. Then you ask, is it attacking a proton? It is. What else do you add? BB. The thing is attacked is an elaba. The lava plot. Now, talk to me about the pi electron attacking the other molecule on the bottom. This is now an attacker, isn't it? It's attacking another molecule. You agree? So I'm going to say the pi bonds are a nucleophile and a lube. Lube, nu. Are they attacking a proton? Yeah. Indeed. And this guy is the guy getting attacked. Yeah, there's six labels on the top and six on the bottom. Separate reactions. Nice. 
Yeah, I know. It just sounds so good. Only in Dearborn. What can you say? Who should be proud? Okay. So I think we have everything. Any reactions don't have labels? We got them all. Half points each label is not to be laughed at either. Uh oh. Which one? Uh, left or right from here? Well, not left. This one? Well, this is this thing being attacked is the Elaba. That's this whole deal here. That's what's going on here. Okay. And I guess we better highlight those too. And then the bottom is a whole new uh, deal. Yellow works nice. The attacker is the loop. That doesn't look very yellow. Sorry, that's why. And the attacker is the loop new, and it's attacking a proton, so it's a BB. And there you go. I think that helps, right? How about the arrow in the wedge? It's more arrow. The arrow and the wedge in the BR. Where? This one? That's an ELABA. ELA. Sorry, not a BA. It did, that's not a proton. No, it's labeled. This is the ELA. No, no, it's not label every arrow. It's label each species. Label each molecule participating. I guess it should say species because sometimes they're ions, which doesn't really make a molecule. But to me, they're all molecules. Okay? And we're off.